First thing we generally want to do with problems like these is map it out on an axis. So the truck, starting at the origin, travels 21 blocks north. So it's traveling north for a while, which I'm representing as up on the y-axis. Then it moves 16 blocks east for a bit, which moves going to the right. Then it goes 21 blocks south, goes down for a bit. And now we're asked for, to find its final displacement from the origin. So from the origin to this point in the bottom right quadrant. Now drawing the motion out like this makes the problem much easier because we can see how things can be split up into different coordinates. So this northern point is 21 blocks upward. This point on the right is 26 blocks southwards. We're moving 16 blocks to the right up there. And to find the answer the problem wants us to find, we're going to need to know the displacement in the y direction, which accounts for this distance right here, because the truck starts at the x-axis and then ends up somewhere at this point, as well as the x-displacement. Unfortunately, it's easy from this diagram to figure out both of those things. We can see that the y-displacement is just going to be 21 minus 26, because we're traveling 21 positively, but then we traveled back down 26, which means that there's a net displacement of negative 5 blocks uh, north, or just positive 5 blocks south, and 16 blocks east. Because the only leg of the journey that's along the x-axis is that 16 blocks east mentioned in the problem. So to find the magnitude of the displacement, we, we just have to take the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. So the square root of negative 5 squared plus 16 squared. And this gives us an answer of about 17 blocks. This is the magnitude of the displacement. We also want to find the angle of the displacement. And the formula for that is the inverse tangent of the y component divided by the x component, 5 divided by 16, which gives us an answer of 17 degrees. And we can see from the diagram that this is this angle right here, which is an angle south of the, of the positive x-axis. So that's 17 degrees south of east. So that is how we represent the direction. That is it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If, you have, if, if this video helped you out, please consider subscribing, as that will help me out in making more videos like this. And if you have a request, leave a comment down below. Hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.